Hello there. This is Timothy Perfect from Two Canoe Software. And I want to show you some progress I've been making at MDS with MDS with an M1 MacBook Air or any M1 um, Apple Silicon. So let me just mute this. Okay, so this is this one I just restored with Apple Configurator 2. So it's like a brand new MacBook Air that's come out of the box. You can see that it's at the setup assistant. So what I'm going to do instead of shutting it up and going through all that step one by one, I'll just hit, uh, hit quit and I'll shut it down. So it's like it's brand new in the box, just pulled it out. And what I have here is a, uh, a drive um, that I've done an MDS workflow and I've put an MDS workflow on this. So just like we have an Intel processors, um, we'll boot into recovery with an Intel or with the Apple Silicon Mac, it's a little bit differently. You press and hold the power button and it says continue holding for startup options. So I'll do that. And it says loading startup options and then I'll boot into recovery, also known as one true recovery, I guess, on, on, on Apple Silicon on the Macs that, uh, that have the Apple Silicon processor. So options came up and now I'm gonna um, select continue. Uh, this all can be automated through the automaton, um, but beginning, I'm just gonna start with the MDS workflow. We're gonna have two different modes. One is that where the OS is already installed and you just configure it. And the other one is where you reinstall the OS. So what I'm showing you now is just the OS is, it's been wiped by Apple Configurer 2 and now you're gonna configure it up. So I'll go to the utility just like we do in regular uh, MDS or prior versions and I'll plug in my USB drive. Oh, it's a MacBook Air so you gotta put it on the uh, correct side. So I'll do that and uh, I'll make this a bit bigger and I'll make it slash volumes MTS run, which is normally the command that you would give. And it comes right up. Um, and I choose what volume that I want to do. It'll be Mac Dash hard drive and uh, Big Sur is the workflow that I want to run. So I'll choose that. Um, it runs, it's very quick, so it's done. I don't have the restart in there yet, so I'll just manually restart. That'll be done automatically. And I can unplug the drive, because I'm all done. And now what's gonna happen is it didn't actually do any configuration yet but um, the configuration needs to be done inside of Mac OS. So it'll boot up uh, and when it'll get to the setup assistant, it'll go ahead and configure the machine. It will uh, stop the setup assistant from being shown again. It'll create a user account. It'll also install some applications. It'll connect to Wi-Fi. It'll do all that configuration for you. And you'll see how fast it is um, once it uh, reboots. So it's at the setup assistant now. Um, it's doing all that configuration and within a few seconds, it should reboot again. And, uh, and after that, it'll uh, come back up and there shouldn't be the setup assistant and I should just be able to log in as that user. Okay, so now, now it just um, rebooted and uh, configuration is done. And once it starts up, um, we'll go right to the login window. I'll be able to log in. Another key piece is that it not only does it skip the setup assistant, but it'll also skip the privacy uh, uh, props for the users. So they don't have to go through and answer those. Okay, so you can now see I have a user account. So I'll type in my super secret password of two canoes. Hit return, and it'll log into that account. You notice that the setup system is no longer being shown. Um, it has created this user account. I can create as many user accounts as I want as part of the MDS workflow. And um, it should skip the privacy controls as well, so I won't have to go through those one by one. Um, and then we'll check to see if the application is installed. I put in uh, a couple of browsers. I put in Firefox and I put in Google. And I also checked why I made Wi-Fi um, so it's uh, uh, configured for the SSID I have here. So it, you notice that it didn't ask the privacy controls and now it's, it's logged in. And it's just doing the final configuration. You can see I have Wi-Fi. Um, and if I go in and I look, I said, do I have Firefox? I indeed have Firefox and I have Google Chrome. So there we go. Now we have this brand new Mac out of the box configured in just a few, uh, in just, uh, a few minutes. So um, the next thing is gonna be able to do that same thing, but if you know an existing user, admin user on this, you can run the wipe command without having to use Apple Configurator. And I'll, I'm gonna work on that next, but this is a big breakthrough. We're able to do set up from, um, kick off the setup from recovery on Apple Silicon uh, for Macs that run the Apple uh, Silicon, Apple Silicon processor. So thanks very much for watching and uh, be sure to check back.